<laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> How are you all? Oh. What a boring little bunch you are. Come on, relax, get into it. We're not going to bite you. Yes? <laughs> oh, you keep flashing your box at me. It's turning me on. I'm loving it. This time I'll be pooped after all this cavorting around, so what I'm going to do very quickly, get amongst a few of you, shake a few hands, I'll find out exactly what's going on, if I could see it, it'd help, but anyway, why guys, I didn't fall on you, darling, don't worry. Hello, how are you? Don't be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. Hello, ladies, how are you? Good, lovely to have you at this. Are there any men in the room at all? Hello, darling, how are you? Shake a bloke's hand. <laughs> Last warm hand, where have you had it? <laughs> Look at you, gone all cockeyed. <laughs> Your eyes are sticking out like pickle onions on forks. Look at my tits. <laughs> <laughs> You're not impressed. Hello, darling, how are you? He said, Oh my god, I thought of all for that. <laughs> is that what you're thinking, darling? Who is he? What is he? Where is he, Tucker? <laughs> you want to know where I put it? You do. Good girl, open your mouth and I'll show you. Don't give me the crap, but I've already had everything else. Hi, <laughs> darling, how are you? You are going to be a friendly lot. I can feel it in my water. Hello, okay. darling, how are you? Just give me a bit of length there. Hello, how are you? They're all up the back of the men. Hello, darling, how are you? How are you? Don't stand up, I'm a faggot. <laughs> I'm not the real thing, you silly bastard. That's if you come up at me either, you're wishing pleasure upon me. <laughs> Early in the evening. You've had a good life, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You've got a bit thin on top. It's all those you turns under the sheets. <laughs> and you're here with your daughter. That's right, I'm all right, hello. Look at you, look at the tits on you, you greedy bitch. <laughs> Taiwan down there. I have to go to bloody Taiwan to get mine. <laughs> Come on, get your hands above the table. That's the girl. I'm going to be sick before I do. That's a beautiful jumper you've got on. Lovely white jumper. White for virgin? <laughs> oh, I'll be a bloody old jumper. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? Look at you with all this hair. Do you have the hair grins today? <laughs> no? The vibrator short circuited. <laughs> Looks fabulous and you're smiling with it as well, that's what we like to say. Are you all right down there, darling? During the opening you had your hanky up to your mouth and you're going, look at this one, this and look at that. Oh, I hope nothing was hanging out that shouldn't have been. I'm right. All right, as long as everything I saw that hanky up there in the mouth, going to put all shit is falling out. You don't know unless you are. Don't hide behind your, behind your hand, darling, whatever you do. You fill yourself up with bad gas. Oh, I couldn't be there. Hello, darling. How are you? Hello. I thought they get ugly as I get round the room. Do you have any young people in this town? Don't touch my ass, darling. Don't let your mind start something your body can't finish. Hello, darling. God, you're an ugly prick. You're not going to believe your luck. I always go home with a person that sits in that seat. Whether it be man, woman or child, I couldn't care less. I'm that desperate, so it's you and I tonight, darling. <laughs> All right, the bad news is I can't go home with you in particular. You see, you've got a beard and a moustache. I never go home with me beards or moustache. It brings my ass out in the most violent way. <laughs> but it's lovely to have you here just the same. Hello, darling, how are you? Don't lick your lips, you make my pussy pucker. <laughs> I hate to crack a fat in this dress. Hello, oh, darling. You're getting ready for Christmas, are you, darling? You're growing the beard. And I'll be like, hello, girl. Where do you work? Do I need to ask? Dress like that? No. She must be a red light district here somewhere. Hello. You're gorgeous. I wasn't waving at you, but anyway. Hello, darling. Where are you? Are we going to have a good night? Yeah. What do I want to I haven't been up to the balcony yet. Can I get up to the balcony? I didn't know where you were going to be sitting. We arrived here and they were so obliging. They said, that's it, do it. And I've got to tell you, it's like bloody ice. Slay girls on ice. We've never had skates on in our lives. Hello, darling. How are you? You've been to lay girls before? No. No. First time. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, darling. How are you? 
How are you? Lovely to have you here. Oh, that was a big tough handshake. Hello, darling. Oh, I've got to prove you're cold. <laughs> Don't hide behind the light, darling. I can see you over there. How are you all? <laughs> all right. What I want to do very quickly, I want to split the room into three. Seeing there's so many down here. I'll do it from about this table across. You're going to be number one, all right? You're going to be number two, and up the top there on the balcony, you'll be number three. Because I want to know who's going to be the best. Ready, number one? How are you all tonight? Yeah. Number two? Yeah. Number three? Yeah. Oh, how are you up the back? Yeah. My favourite position. I knew I could rely on you. <laughs> By the way, my name is Deborah Legay, D S M O B E D S X Maniac, on the bed with everybody. <laughs> My friends all call me the coward because I tag it lying down. <laughs> My family, they call me Tivoli, you see, because Tivoli spelled backwards means I love it. <laughs> but doesn't everybody, I mean, when you think about it, I just stand up here and talk about it. You're the dirty bastards that go home and do it all. Well, that's the truth, isn't it, darling? What did you think you were going to see, Mary Poppins? <laughs> did you? Well, I've got the stick. <laughs> and I've tried to fly. <laughs> But nobody wants a fairy when they're 40, believe you me, nobody at all. If you seem a bit tense, you're not drinking any, all I want you to do is simply settle back, relax, let your head out and get thoroughly pissed. We'll have a party here together. You never know your luck. If you end up with one of us, you might have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> or two or three or four. <laughs> Depending which girl you go with. All right, now, hand up all those and ask you a stripper. <laughs> Good on you. Thank God you're here, darling. You're the only one in the room who wants to see a stripper. The only one. We do. They do. You do? Yeah. Hands up all those who like to see a stripper. Come on. Doesn't matter. I haven't got one. <laughs> I mean, you've got a fantastic stripper. She's a bit of a smart ass, but she does a brilliant act. She does this fantastic magic act all rolled in the strip tees. Unfortunately, though, what happened was last night, through the double doors she came. Five double somersaults, up in the air, came down, did the splits over an orange. <laughs> that was the acrobatic part. <laughs> when she stood up, of course, the orange was gone. <laughs> that was the magic part. <laughs> we had a fantastic audience last night, just like you lot are going to be, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh, she got a non quick encore, darling. Have a guess what she did. She didn't make juice. <laughs> no, she didn't, but she had a great time spitting out the pips. <laughs> Remember I told her a bit of a smart ass, well last night she tried it with a watermelon. <laughs> Unfortunately she's not here tonight, she's split a contract. <laughs> but we're in like the twin brothers in, he's out the back, he's tucking it all the way so he won't let you down, alright? I'm going to get the ball rolling now, bring to stage a wonderful entertainer. She has a dance ability that is surpassed by none. Please make welcome. Port Augusta, the very brilliant Miss Carly De Winter. Come on, put your hands together. I heard this truly terrific, absolutely true story. And it just so happens that I told a couple of friends of mine this truly terrific, absolutely true story. And it just so happened that these friends of mine are songwriters. And guess what happened? Right? Truly terrific, absolutely true song. <laughs> Gather around, I've got a story to tell About a Manhattan lady that I know very well She lives at Five Riverside, her name is Shirley DeVore And she traveled around the world to meet the guy next door Well there was trouble inside apartment 29E Cause Shirley's mother and dad were as upset as can be They said we hate to complain dear and we don't like to but you're nearly 32, you should get out of the You gotta ring them bells, you gotta ring them bells You gotta make them sing and really ring them bells It's such a happy thing to hear a thing of thing You gotta ring them bells well, Shirley was 31, which she was loath to admit And she had never been loved, which didn't thrill her a bit And so she sat and she thought, she thought for hours on end And said, I'll go to chase that hat where I got the friend And so she borrowed a bow and called T.W.A. And told her mother and dad that she was up and away I'm gonna travel the continent a month, maybe two 
and haul me home a husband if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> you gotta bring them bells, you gotta bring them bells, you gotta make them sing and really bring them bells. It's such a happy thing to hear a king of bells. You gotta bring them bells. She met a London at first, but they did not hit it off. Cause every time she approached, he got a wrong deal cost. And so she went to Madrid and met a handsome senor. But he liked to throw the bowl and he was rolled out of door. She also found out in Brussels, in Mallorca and Rome. So someone said, try to brought me here before you go home. Cause it's the kind of a town that you would like me to fall. And all the journey thought the ship did find the Balkans of ball. She said, are you from New York? He said, that can't be denied. I've got a swell junior three at number five, Riverside. Five? Five Riverside Drive in New York? That's where you live? That, that's where I live. Five? Are you sure? As they said, less than enough. For sure they thought she'd gone deaf. When he told her his apartment, there was 29. He was in, and they had not even met until she traveled the world to Yugoslavia yet. He'd always been right next door, and she would never have known if she hadn't tried to prove that she might still be alone. Well.
moon in the boiler? No good. Oil in the burner? No good. Is it cold? No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, people. Get hot.
stop flashing that bloody box at me. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a photo of you. Is that all right? So you can see how bloody silly you look from where I am. <laughs> No, I'm an art and photographer, I am. I love photography, I photograph absolutely everything. And I carry my camera with me wherever I go. So you ready to smile? Because it's a box camera. <laughs> it's a brownie. <laughs> Do you like my dress? Yes. I knew you would, it's my period outfit. <laughs> I get to wear it once a month. <laughs> you lot knew what night to come in, didn't you? <laughs> Are there any pommies in the audience? Oh. Oh. Can you keep your arms down? Are you looking forward to Friday? You would be. It's bath night. Where are you going? Don't worry about me on the floor show. You're moving in closer, darling. He's getting up. Well, we'll wait. <laughs> Just leave the door open, darling. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. We can't hear you. Are you squatting or what? I'm a poly myself, so I can say all that I can about the poms. I hate them. They remind me of farts. They're loud and noisy and never go back to where they come from. <laughs> They're more like piles, aren't they, when they think about it? They are, they come out, they stay out, and they bleed us to bloody death. I'm only kidding, I am. I mean, times are tough, it's a depression. I mean, the politicians are telling us the recession, but we're rooted, really, aren't they, when think about it? My mum's been fantastic. She has right through the whole thing. She sends me food passes all the time, and in it last week, she sent me this little letter. I'm going to share it with you all with this lavish stool I've been given. Everything come out all right, Darren? <laughs> you must have been dry to get that back. Right? <laughs> John, it's a bit cocky up there. Hope it's not your sex coming back. <laughs> anyway, I'm reading a letter that's from my mum. I'll go right back for it. Because my mum's at home in London. It goes, dear sir or madam. <laughs> dressing this week. You've been away for eight years now and we thought you were still in the toilet. We never thought you'd leave home and leave your mates behind. I'll go slowly for you. Now you're pulling your skirt up at me, you dirty bitch. Did you, your eyes can see what you're pulling up. What do you think, I'm bloody blind? You don't think I can see down there, I can see it all. You don't seem to be knowing what's going on, so next time I come out I'm going to bring a screen. If that's alright with the management. If you've got something on wheels I can bring out, I'll draw pictures on it for you. And I'll get a great big stick. Well, I don't know where I'm going to get it from, darling. Perhaps you can help me out with that. Do you know someone that's got one? Anyway, then I'm going to point to it to all the words and I'll jump up and down in front of it and follow the bouncing ball. Right? <laughs> Maybe you'll understand a little bit more then. Since you have been gone, your father has turned into a dreadful sex maniac. He tries to make love to me at every opportunity. <laughs> Please excuse the wobbly writing. <laughs> <laughs> Your Aunty Gladys has been on Ice Habits for 30 years, died last week. We didn't bury her, but we got 10 shillings for her at the local scrapyard. <laughs> Your father bought me a lovely present for my birthday. It's an Irish jigsaw puzzle. Oh. It's only got two pieces. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I've lost the lid to the box. <laughs> Your brother Liz had a dreadful accident last week. He fell off a 40 foot scaffolding at the building site. He would have broken both his legs if it hadn't been for the rope tied around his neck. <laughs> By the way, your sister Louise, as you know, we call her Lou. Because everybody makes a convenience of her. <laughs> I think the last time I wrote you, she was engaged to an Eskimo. Well, she broke it off. <laughs> 
The snack fries and <laughs> She has a new boyfriend, now he's on you. She says that he's a terrible mama because he always waits for the swelling to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the doctor the other day because I'd been sick. I asked him to give me something for wind. He did. <laughs> a kite. <laughs> Your dad was at the doctor's too because he's had a dreadful case of diarrhoea. The doctor asked him when he first noticed he had it. Your dad said, well, I didn't know I had it till I took my bicycle clips off. <laughs> <laughs> give it a shit, wouldn't it? <laughs> So the doctor gave him a box of grey box and your dad said, will it help it? And the doctor said, nah, it'll thicken it a bit. <laughs> anyway, sorry to trouble you with bad news, but your cousin Eddie was jailed for six months for having sexual relationships with a goat. <laughs> Mate Peter was fined 30 pounds for acting the goat. <laughs> Australia, so I'm going to help you out. I've enclosed an overcoat in this parcel. To save money on the weight of the parcel, I've cut off all the heavy brass buttons. You'll find them in the top pocket. <laughs> also, I'm enclosed three socks, because in your last letter you wrote, you said you'd grown another fortune. <laughs> By the way, our pet dog Rover was run over and all his legs are gone. But we still exercise him. Every night your dad takes him out for a drag. <laughs> I would have put two pounds in this envelope, but wouldn't you know it? I've sealed it before realising it. <laughs> the sewage is over the phone again and there's a dreadful smell from your loving mum. A couple chance to get that for mum. Do better than that, you're not even slacking. <laughs> I thought it was two young Kerners, I thought I was pissed already. <laughs> Up there in their spotted tops. Hello, darling, come in. Is he a footballer? Yeah. Cherry will give you a chew, darling, come in. <laughs> Don't be shy, be my guest, come on in. Come in, if you're going. I need you in the second show, so you better be in by interval. Alright, talking about interval, we're just about there. We're going to take a short pause for good cause. I'm sure you know what I mean. To all you beautiful young ladies can take your pussies off to the kitty litter. You've already been out to the scratch patch. Bloody piss pot, you couldn't wait. Water? Oh, you poor bitch. Fancy going through life without being pissed. Oh, darling, I'll talk to you in all about all that. We'll get into that later, all right? What I've done, though, seeing it's a recession and all that, I'm money hungry. You've got to make a dollar wherever you can, girls, don't you, really? You've got to get in and do it, keep your chin up and get on with it. So in my contract, I've been very fortunate. I'm allowed to clean all the rooms and the restrooms and all that. But unfortunately, last night I got a bit pissed. Not that you believe alcohol would pass these virginal lips, would you, darling? <laughs> you would! Anyway, I've forgotten to come here this afternoon and put the paper out there. So there's none, as you probably just realised. So girls, I've been racking my brain to what the hell you can do. Hand stands in front of the dryer is all I can come up with. <laughs> And I don't want you boys to feel like you're missing out because I put lollies in the trough for you, Laura. <laughs> don't get too excited. They're not edible. But they are blue. So when you piss on them, they'll go green. <laughs> Give you something to look at rather than a fellow next to you. <laughs> Have you ever been out to the little boys' room, darling, by mistake? Yes. Yeah. It's bloody church. <laughs> <laughs> you have. At least you admit it. Anyway, I forgot I changed last night out there. I went, you've never seen so many wet shoes in all your life trying to wop it away. <laughs> they're such guides, girls, truly. They're down and right like that, stretching the hell out of the poor bloody thing. <laughs> looking to the right. Looking to the left. Case one's bigger than theirs. <laughs> Holding onto it with four fingers. <laughs> Pissing over three of them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you into the finale. We are going to have a short break. There's photographs for sale. Graham will explain it to you when we finish. Please enjoy our first finale for this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the most beautiful boys in the world.
Lego.
put your hands together for the most part.
See the things that go in it. <laughs> Positively indecent. You know about that, wouldn't you? 
looking at darling, if it's in good, in long, in hard, it's in decent. So they tell me. I wouldn't know. Line up here, fellas. Come on, I advise you to stay on the carpet because it's like ice otherwise. I knew the pretty one would come closer. They always do. Come on, darling, move on down the track. That's the way. I mean, yeah, that's what I've got, exactly what I want. You're not getting all shy on me, darling, are you? We're going to do 16 counts of the music, fellas. Can you count to 16? <laughs> Straight away, no. Don't you like it? The youth of today, no. Four up to four we're going to do, fellas, all right? The first up to four, all I want you to get yourselves to the front of the car, but don't go any further because you'll slip off, I'm promising you. One, two, three, four. Next lot of four, imagine you've got a skirt on. Throw the skirt around for four, okay? One, two, three, four. You can't count to four, can't you, darling? Don't turn your back on me, you bore me. And if you do, then I have to bend you over. And then I have to drive you home. Oh, wouldn't that be dreadful? All right. The last of the four, we come back to where we started from. Throw your little dairy ears in there, wiggle them around the board. Do you know what your dairy ear is, darling? I think so. Tell me, because I hate to stick the wrong thing out at me. In front of all these people. What do you think it is? What's that? Your dairy ear. You're right, it's the rear end. Give me my hand. We have an intellect in the audience. You're going to give us lots of encouragement, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. All right, here we go. Come on, help the guys out. I'll do it with you fellas the first time. Then it's up to you. Everyone, help the man. You've got to give the oldies credit, don't you? Yes. They have rhythm and intelligence. <laughs> they might not have the looks, but they got the rest. <laughs> Fellas, you've done a great job if you look a bit boring. Don't you think they look a bit boring? Yes. Don't you think they look a bit boring? Yes. Now, where are I say for a chord? <laughs> I don't think I've got a chord that big. <laughs> I wish I did. Do you want to join the show? Because I've got a dress like so it'll get around that way to yours. Yeah, but I don't have enough lipstick for that bloody big mouth of yours. I don't. You're humongous. You are. All right, fellas, what I want you to do is quickly roll your trousers up above your knees so they stay there. Come on, I'm out. Come on, what have you got stockings on, Matthew? You're a wolf! Oh, no, 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 I'd like to say you fuck, but there are ladies present. They have the worst legs I've seen since my own. That's a little bit boring, don't you think? Yeah. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to count to three. When I finish counting to three, I want every single person you allow. Sheree, she shall come out with a little something. <laughs> and we'll colour the guys in a bit, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Sheree! Her hand, and she's gorgeous too. Language, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Give Sheree a hand. Look at that body. Woo! Woo! the door open. <laughs> Come on, in the hall. Thank you, come in. We'll pop it in. This is a tighter hole for you, darling. 
you just get in it. You paid nothing to get in, so just put your legs in there and shut up. Come on. Language coming out of you. You should respect your elders. Look, just get in the fucking thing. Who cares? Now he's telling me to let it go. Honestly, isn't it? Someone falls out of the hole, spends the rest of his life in the back of 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 the back well, just get into your jeans. Improvise. You're a day guy, aren't you? You work in a fish and chip shop, don't you? Because we're all coming round for supper. The whole lot of us, and they're not going to charge us a cent. They are not. You right? You got it together? Come close, huh? The audience can't see you, dickhead. Come on, that's the boy. Look at those big feet. <laughs> They're just like cherries. All right, what we're going to do now, remember, fellas, 16 counts of the music. <laughs> now, don't start being a stage door Johnny. I know there's doors everywhere in this place, but... <laughs> All right. You're going to do it. Come on, in the middle. Behave. Do as you're told. You've got Are You Ready on your T-shirt. <laughs> We're not ready for you. All right, thank you, Mr. Music. Come on, everyone, give the guys a big hand. Your mummy speaks. <laughs> Not mummy see, mummy do. You're right, darling, getting a bit sweaty. <laughs> and you're not. Bloody putrid. Dreadful <laughs> lighting, slippery dance floor, but anyway, we're getting through it. Come on, fellas, line up. What I'm going to do now for the one of calling you anything else, <laughs> I shall call you one, two, and three. I get each of you to do it individually. That's one at a time, Trout. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get you to vote for the guys by way of applause that we've got a little someone for the winner, right? I mean something for the winner. Don't jump the gun. You don't want the gun to win, yeah? Don't suck your finger like that. All right. Remember what you're going to do? We'll start with number three. Off you go, darling. Come on, everyone. Help him out. He's even putting it on the piano. I bet you're not like that at home, darling. Come over here. You two can piss off now. Actually, I don't 
really nice because I've never worked here before, but I think if you'd like to hold up to the bar, they'll give you a drink of your choice as long as there's water. <laughs> and I'll charge it to the big mouth bitch sitting down the table. <laughs> you want darling? <coughs> I didn't want him to begin with. What do you want? It's a tattoo of anyone. <laughs> Bother. Actually, you're not getting a drink, you're getting a photo. Are you ready to catch? It's me in the nude. <laughs> when I was three. Where's the other old fart? There. I'll sit back to him. Get up here. How old are you, darling? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're with them all the way. All right. So how good is your imagination, darling? Not real good. Must be wearing a t-shirt like that in a town like this. <laughs> I want you a couple of things for me. Don't be nervous. Come up here. <laughs> the body language is putrid. <laughs> you like this with every old woman that touches you? Gone all moist. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> oh, well, that's what I want to do. Anyway. <laughs> Come here. I want you to put your hands out in front as if you're grasping a small pole. <laughs> Come on. There's all these beautiful young ladies out there. Excite them. Get on with it. <laughs> Tom. That's it, good boy. Give him a hand, he's halfway there. Now I want you to look straight ahead and keep your eyes closed, darling. <laughs> Don't you trust me? Your father's watching, he'll tell you if you need help, won't you, Dad? Yeah, he'll tell you. Now close your eyes. Now you're going to promise me you'll keep them closed? Don't lick your lips. <laughs> I told you what it does to me. Keep them close, I'm watching. We're going to have a one, a two, and a three from the audience, aren't we? Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. And we shall start with a... One! And a... Two! And a... Three! You didn't even flinch. You're a poster. Ah. There you are, darling. There's your prize. Don't hit me over the head with it. You can do with the bottle what you wish later. <laughs> I'll come and help you drink it. Give him a hand. Give all the guys a hand. I love the sound. Just give it back. Don't all answer at once. Did you get your photo? Yeah. Yeah. That's a woman answer. <laughs> See, you can't tell these days. You never know who's sitting next to you, do you? You could be a lesbian for all I know. You obviously are. <laughs> Haven't taken your eyes off my crutch all night. <laughs> and I've loved it. <laughs> I've been in this business a little while. And it takes time to find someone that's new and exciting. And I've found someone I think, if you're Matthew's age, you would be excited. <laughs> She's very clever. She's got a fabulous gimmick. Please melt. welcome to the big stage, Miss Millie Minogue. Come on, put your hands together. <laughs>
Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Man, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Mm -hmm. And she's sorry to be delayed But last evening I love her and she stayed Now, the saddest regret She's unable to lunch today When she woke up and found that her dream of love was gone to the man who had led her so far astray And from under her velvet gown She threw a gun and shot her over down A man with his oldest regrets She's unable to lunch today Oh, 
you shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love to drive a girl insane. You want my wheel to prove what I'm doing. Got a new space, a spray fire on the fire. I like that love, cause I thought it was funny. You came along and you knew you had me. I changed my mind, this love is fine. And got a new space, a spray fire on the fire. Ooh, kiss me, baby.
we fucked it up and the men on the tree fucked it up. <laughs> 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 you believe it all happened in one night and you're in, darling. And you haven't even had one drink. You lucky bitch. I've only had two by myself. Do you want to meet these boys? Yeah. 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 Hey. Please. <laughs> It's totally fucking pathetic now, and you don't want to meet them. Yeah! You do? Yeah! Well, put your hands together for them. <laughs> the giant boomers are loving it. Ah, that's loving it, and Matthew shit himself. <laughs> You're the one that told me he wasn't 18. I don't know the licensing laws here. Now it takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of patience to work in a show like this. And a lot, a lot of years we've been together, except for him. <laughs> He's only been with us three months. And it's fabulous to have him aboard. Please, thank you. 19 year old, this really, you know, it's not putting us together for us now. <laughs> and the lady who's done a lot in her life, she put the tea in strip teas. The Dean drinking, more like drunk and disorderly. But anyway, what a fabulous entertainer. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome to Miss Cherie Lamour. <laughs> Who do you want me? Where do you want me? Because I'm available. <laughs> Over in the barn. That's usually where you can find me hanging off a barn. Oh. <laughs> ah, you're quick to go. Look, you're even laughing now. It's taken three fucking hours. <laughs> anyway, I'll start with someone who can dance like nobody else. The very, very talented and funny, Miss Terry Wright. Come on, put me together. <laughs> 